السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد الحمد لله we've completed 15 days of this blessed month of Ramadan we ask Allah عز وجل to accept our fasting our Quran recitation listening to the kitab of Allah our qiyam and all the different types of ibadah that we have done to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our charity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except from all the brothers and all the sisters, and everybody, inshaAllah. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. <clears throat> the ayah that I would like to discuss today from Surah Al-Ahzab, this is ayah number 53. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تدخلوا بيوت النبي إلا أن يؤذن لكم إلى طعام غير ناظرين إناه ولكن إذا دعيتم فادخلوا فإذا طعمتم <coughs> الله عز وجل says O oh believers when you have been given permission to enter the house of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم you enter only at that time. And after the meal has taken place, do not sit there, rather leave immediately. وَلَا مُسْتَأْنِسِينَ لِحَدِيثِ Do not start having a lot of discussion. Why? Because this is causing difficulty and unease to the Prophet ﷺ. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not shy away to deliver the truth to you. Whereas the Messenger of Allah, due to his relationship and his kindness, he is not able to upfront tell you to leave, but you should be sensible enough that understand the value of everybody's time. And especially the time of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whose time is the most valuable so in this ayah Allah azza wa jal is addressing the believer and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching them by putting the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that position However, this etiquette is something that a believer needs to be considerate about throughout everybody's relationship. Of course, with the Messenger of Allah, this would be the highest point of etiquette and adab that a person should show to the Prophet ﷺ. But something that an etiquette that should be practiced amongst individuals. And this is the etiquette of a person inviting someone to the house which is a biyafa. We have, mashallah, people request, they sent in da'wat, and you come and you accept the invitation. Now there are etiquettes to this also. First and foremost thing, as a believer, if you have the ability to accept someone's invitation, then you should do so. That's the right of a believer. If you have a valid excuse, then you can put an excuse in, and that's fine, you can reject the invitation. But if you don't have an excuse, then you should accept the invitation. Number two, the appointed time that has been allocated for the event or for you to appear, you should try your best to appear at that time, not two hours late. Huh? DST. PST, CST, and then we have DST. This is standard time. Where you, are, where, you, where you arrive two hours late from the time that has been given to you. That causes difficulty to the host. Causes difficulty to the remaining guests that are there. And you yourself is showing the character not of a believer. Rather someone else. So the first thing is, when you have been given permission to enter, enter. That's the time to arrive. Arrive at that time. 15, 20 minutes up and down, understand sometimes traffic and this and that. Yes. But you're having coming two hours late. And then 
the message to the host. At whatever time you've invited the people and if someone is not arriving, don't wait for him. Those who have arrived, give them food. He's not arrived yet. Let's wait for him. And let's wait for him. And let's wait for him. What about the person who came on time? No value to his time. This is the second message in this ayah. فَإِذَا طَعِمْتُمْ After you have finished eating, then you leave. You ask a request, Jazakallah khair for your food, may Allah reward you, put barakat, put blessing, and leave. This ayah was revealed during the time when the Prophet ﷺ invited the Sahaba to his house for a walima of the marriage that he had with Zainab bint Jahash radiallahu anha. And he had, because the house of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we all know they were not homes, they were just hujra, one small room. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam put Zainab Radiallahu Anha, his wife, in a corner, covered the area, and the rest of the area he allowed people to come and eat. When they came, they took the meal, and then after that, they're having discussion. So the Prophet ﷺ was feeling unease with this condition, but he didn't want to be rude that tell him to leave. Allah Azza wa Jal says, this is not rude. Wallahu la yistahi min al haqq This is absolute truth. If you're not able to accommodate them, there is a difficulty, something's happening in the house. The wife of the Prophet ﷺ is sitting in a corner. She needs to get around, she needs to get her things done. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the believers that when you have finished your meal, leave. Ask permission and leave. If the guest is okay and comfortable and he addresses and he expresses that comfort, then of course you can continue to stay. But if you are saying, you know, I want to leave and the guest is quiet, that means it's time to leave. It's not time to start your, you know, continue your conversation. And that needs to be, this is an etiquette that is taught to us by Quran, by the teachings of Allah and by the teachings of His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is an etiquette that we need to practice in our society. As a believer, as a Muslim, as a mu'min, when we practice this in our society, then we will see the barakah of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the rahmah of Allah. And more importantly, Allah gives you the reward of practicing the sunnah. We ask Allah to grant us the understanding and the ability to practice.